Hello and welcome to All-in-One SEO. In this video, I will show you three great techniques to find long tail keywords and increase organic traffic to your website. The third technique uses All-in-One SEO, the best WordPress SEO plugin, and it is the number one way to find great keywords quickly and easily without ever leaving your website. If you have not done so already, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell. So the first and simple way of finding long tail keywords is by entering a short tail keyword or your main keyword in Google. Make sure not to hit enter and then look at the autocomplete suggestions. What you see are more specific search queries that people look for and are related to your overall topic. You can also look at the people also ask section. For instance, when you enter a search term on Google, you'll notice a set of questions under a box called people also ask. And lastly, if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you'll find more suggestions by Google in the related searches section. Another great technique and number two on our list is to check your Google search console report for the long tail keywords that are already bringing traffic to your website. Now, if you have a brand new website, this won't be very helpful to you because you have no data to look at. But if you have an existing website with traffic, this is a great place to get existing data. This will help you find similar search terms that you can target or you can use the data to improve your existing content. To easily do this, you can use the best WordPress analytics plugin called Monster Insights. This lets you view your Google Search Console reports directly inside your WordPress dashboard. And when using the Search Console report, you can see the top keywords that get the most clicks, impressions, click through, and their average position. As you can see, almost all of the top keywords in this example are long tail keywords. These are the search terms that bring the majority of organic traffic and improve the click through of your website. And for our third and last option, and this is a pro level feature, we're going to use all in one SEO plugin. And I'm going to use the pro license for this plugin to do so. And this is my favorite way to find long tail keywords in WordPress. So let's head over to AIOSEO.com. I'll leave a link in the description for you. And you're going to click on get all in one SEO. After you have an account set up, let's go ahead and click on login. On the left hand side, let's enter your email address and password, and then click login. And here inside your account, we're going to click on the downloads tab. And let's click on download all in one SEO. This will download the zip file that we need to install the plugin. And on the bottom left hand side, we have the license key. Let's click the little icon here to copy that. We can close this window for now. In your WordPress dashboard, let's head over to plugins and then add new and then upload plugin. I'm going to drag the zip file right here on a choose file. You can also click this and find the file on your hard drive to select it. Let's go ahead and click on install now. And let's go ahead and activate the plugin. Next, it's going to run you through the all-in-one SEO setup wizard. So you can go ahead and do this if this is your first time running it and you haven't already have it installed. Otherwise, I'm going to click on go back to the dashboard and you'll see all the notices here to ask for a valid license key. So let's just click on one of these links and you'll see the box down here on the bottom. I'm just going to paste my license key right in here and then click the green connect button. You should see a check mark if everything went well. And you can close this bar on the bottom of your browser if you have that like me. So what we're going to be using is we're going to be looking for keywords. So we can go to a post or a page. So let's go to posts, all posts. And I have a clean install of WordPress. So I just have the test post here, but you could use this on any post. An existing one is fine. So go ahead and click on edit. And up here, you'll see the visual block editor where it'll have all of your content and your blog post. And if we scroll down to the bottom here, we can see the general settings for all in one SEO. We social schema in advance we just want to stay on general for now and we can come down to a place where it says focus key phrase and here is the main keyword or key phrase that you're trying to get listed for in google or to rank for in google or other search engines so as an example i'm just going to put in running shoes so this is not a long tail keyword this is just a shorter keyword that i'm going for and i'm going to click on add focus keyword now the great thing about all-in-one seo is it has a little analyzer here that'll give you some tips on how to optimize for this key phrase for this video i'm not going to go through these right now but if you read through them they make sense and you can make those changes on your own website now that we added a focus key phrase we have this new button available to us called get additional key phrases and when you click on this this is going to pop up a window to connect to SEMrush. If you're not familiar with SEMrush, I'll leave a link in the description for this as well. It's a fantastic tool for any type of SEO, content marketing, and competitor research. But this integrates fantastic with all-in-one SEO, so you never have to leave the WordPress admin area. So let's go ahead and click on get additional key phrases, and it's going to ask for your email and your password. If you don't have an account, go ahead and click on register to do so. After you logged in and you've approved the connection to SEMrush, you're going to see this additional key phrases by SEMrush window pop up, this Madal window. Now, right now it's showing the results for the United States of America, but you can change this to any country that you you wish and if i scroll down i'll see a key phrase volume the trend 
And then if I want to add this key phrase, so what I'm looking for are long tail keywords. So for example, Nike running shoes for women would be considered a long tail keyword. It's probably still quite competitive. It has a good amount of volume. It looks like the trend is upward. I'm going to go ahead and add the key phrase. Now, if we close this window, we can come down and we can see our focus key phrase, but now we have an additional key phrase that we added here as well. And of course we would go ahead and correct these warnings. And down below here, you can also manually add additional keywords if you want to as well. So let's say Nike runners with orange trim, go ahead and add additional key phrases. And you can see that was added right beside here. So I now have two additional key phrases. You can always modify your focus key phrase if you want to change this, or maybe you've got some new information from Google console and you want to modify your existing content. So instead of running shoes, we switch to hiking shoes, get additional key phrases. This will pop up. Then again, we have some different long tail keyword options here, such as best hiking shoes for women, best hiking shoes for men, add key phrase, and the process is the same. You can add more than one. You can add all of these if you wish. I'm just gonna go ahead and close this. Once you're happy with your keywords and key phrases, don't forget to fix these errors and make sure that you're including them into your content. Let's go ahead and click update to save these changes. Now that you know how to find long tail keywords and increase organic traffic, check out this video on the ultimate guide to setting up all in one SEO. This video is great for making sure you have everything set up correctly and that you are well on your way to excellent SEO results. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.